The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. Today, today, today is a second video. It's a second video in a little mini series where we're covering all the different science packs, how to make them and how to make them to a ratio. Uh, last episode, we actually covered uh, the electromagnetic matrix along with the, uh, the energy matrix. Uh, I will actually link that video up the top right hand corner if you happen to miss it. Today's uh, today's video, we're going to be covering the structural matrix. Now, structural matrix, it's the first one you're going to have to go off world for. So you're going to need titanium, which you're going to have to bring in from off world. On top of that, the other raw resources you're going to need is going to be water, oil, and coal. That's it. Uh, there's a lot of steps. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of steps involved with this one, but that's it for raw resources so with that little bit out of the way by all means if you like these sorts of videos by all means click the like button uh at the same time if you want to see more videos like this and you especially want to catch the next video we're, we're gonna be covering the information matrix by all means click the subscribe button uh with that out of the way let's cover some basics so we have obviously water and titanium titanium you're gonna to have to import you're gonna to have to import it via an inter interstellar logistics station they will require a significant amount of power it's good it's fine we're gonna be covering how to get some free power in just a minute um on top of that because i happen to be on my twitch base um which we've aptly named cybertron because i just finished foundationing the whole world it's it's absolutely covered um i don't have water I don't have oil. So in my case, I've had to import both those. I do have a local coal supply. Um, I will cover maybe at the end of the video, maybe I'll put a notation down the bottom. You can make this this particular science pack by using extra oil with x-ray cracking to get enough coal, well, enough uh, energetic graphene that you don't need to use an external coal source. That's entirely up to you. It is a little bit of a larger build requiring many, 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 many more oil refineries. But Without other way, let's cover some basics. So first thing is, let's add some power. That would always help. And we can actually turn the system on. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our oil, okay? Our oil is gonna have our two products. That is going to be, you're not gonna show me the rest of it. There we go. That is gonna be two refined oil and one hydrogen. Uh, unfortunately, the hydrogen is a waste product with this particular build. So we're gonna put our refined oil. We're gonna pre-sort it and pre-filter it onto its own separate belt. We're gonna put the refined, uh, the refined oil on the inside belt, the hydrogen obviously on the outside belt, because we make two refined oil, and it just means there's less chance the sorters are gonna have issues. This build, you should be able to use level one sorters all the way through, but uh, a level two never hurts. Um, hydrogen's going backward, refined oil's going forward, just how I decide to build by build. Uh, the refined oil's all merging up onto a nice belt here, and the hydrogen's just looping out and going into a storage box. And it is, as it, it's a waste product, okay? You're only making two and a half per second, um, which is not a whole heap, but it is gonna be enough to run a couple of the thermal power stations if you don't have enough power. Putting one of these together is going to significantly increase your power usage. So it's maybe not a bad idea that you build a couple of extra power plants. On top of that, uh, firing off the logistics vessels to go get um, raw resources from another planet is also going to be fairly power intensive. So a couple of extra power plants won't hurt. Okay, from there, we also need coal. Coal is going to have to be... Uh, Smelted via a, via well smelted by a, via a smelter into energy graphene, and then it's going to come to our very first station, our very first station where we're going to move these two uh, items on and process them into the next type. That is going to be into the chemical plant to make plastic. Yes, we need plastic. We don't actually need plastic for the science pack. We need plastic to make uh, the organic crystals. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's a few steps with the science pack. So we need to make plastic. We're gonna need oh, oil refineries. We need a 10 of those. Uh, the energy graphene, we need six of those. Okay, so 10 of these, six of these. Uh, plastic, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six as well. Simple so far. Okay, next step is going to be our organic crystals. Our organic crystals require two plastic. They require one refined oil and one water. As you can see, the water belts come down this side, nice and simple. The plastic, it has been output to the back and fed straight into the organic crystal machines. Now, your builds may vary. You might be able to find a much neater way to build this. Uh, I decided to build in a long straight line so we could 
go through the process bit by bit by bit. Uh, okay, our refined oil. R refined oil is coming down on this belt, going from the plastic belt straight into the organic crystal belt. Okay, uh, again, you're going to need six of these machines. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Dusted. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we're bringing in our refined oil, and then these guys are going to six second crafting time. Okay, they're not going to be fast. Okay, so I, I've used a sorter. It's going out to this further belt. Okay, it just lines things up a little bit, uh, a little bit easier for me later on. And again, that's it. It's not too complicated. As for our titanium, our titanium ore has come in, and again, six smelters, six smelters to turn that titanium ore into titanium. We're feeding it out at the same time. Uh, our uh, energy graphene, which has gone past all our plastic, has come down to here to the end, and it's being re-smelted a second time into diamonds. Okay, again, need two of these. Okay, so six titanium. Two, uh, two smelters making diamonds, okay, and that gets us to our our one of our last products. Diamonds is one of our final products, okay, for our structural matrix. Diamonds is one of them. Again, that's the easy one. That just comes from coal. It's coal that's been smelted and then smelted again, okay. The titanium crystals. That's been the one that's been a little bit awkward to make because we've had to make the gems first. So as I said, with the gems coming down, they're actually coming down here to the end and looping back up because we've already also made our titanium, brought it down here. And then, funnily enough, now I, I've intentionally used Mark 1 assemblers. I should probably clarify with that. I've used Mark 1 assemblers for this particular build mainly because you may have Mark 2 assemblers at this stage. Mark 1 assembler has a crafting speed of 0.75. A Mark, uh, a Mark 2 assembler has a crafting speed of 1. So it would make the maths a little bit easier. But power-wise, this guy uses 270 kilowatts. That guy uses 480 kilowatts. Until they do some sort of balance, balance pass, balancing pass on the game, I'm going to stick to my Mark 1 assemblers. So, yes, uh, we've used these. I need 5.4 of these. So, obviously, as you can see, I've rounded up. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It means this guy at the end is not going to be fed all the time, which sort of... It doesn't throw out the ratios. The, all the ratios are exact, but... um. It does mean this system takes a long while to stabilize. Uh, on top of that, every machine has its own internal buffer, which they've had to fill up. Uh, in the case of this guy, you know, titanium, he holds 15, and crystals, he holds five. So we've had to wait for each one of these machines to hold in five. Yeah, the next four crystals are disappearing in here before anything happens. So, um, yeah, titanium crystals are the organic crystals which we've already brought, brought past along with titanium uh, again it's it's a four second recipe I'm, I'm intentionally putting the titanium on the close belt because i do need three of those and the organic crystals going on the far belt because i only need one of those every four seconds so a a sorter that runs at a 0.75 per trip is perfectly fine and then we're outputting both those items onto well we're out putting that item onto the belt beside its neighbor so we have our titanium crystals and our diamonds pass them through here and then we're running them into our labs now out my labs i have intentionally used a mark ii sorter because these are now stacked four high and oh that's what's wrong haha -ha. you are linked from one machine to the other how about you output your own belt there we go okay because our structural matrix actually requires eight seconds to craft obviously i've had to use eight labs so this guy as you can see he's buffered up 1919 1919 or 1920 1920 1920 these all do require a buffer of up to 20 items each this guy's also buffered up this guy's buffered up this guy is short on the titanium crystals which means this guy's short on the titanium crystals as you can see the titanium crystals are the weakest part of this link purely because our 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 um 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 oh, organic crystals our organic crystals are made perfectly to ratio so nope we need another refined oil to come past yeah and it's going to go into the machine just as the machine needs another one okay everything is timed very very close to one another so consequently if you were to build this build you want to run it a little bit faster I wouldn't be against you, you know, putting in an extra oil refinery at the start and an extra 
probably not an extra plastic plant looking at that belt but maybe an extra plastic plant with an extra organic crystal plant but that is our build um just to go through the the numbers again really quickly we have 10 oil refineries we have six uh smelters doing coal into energy and graphene we then have six again plastic machines and then six again of the organic crystals uh six titanium six titanium crystals and then two diamonds and that pretty much sums up the build now if we i might uh i might put it in time lapse or a cut but either way we're going to scroll down to the bottom tick that on set you to one minute as you can see we're at 54 we're at 54 per minute it will hit 60 it's just going to oh it doesn't help it doesn't help that the belt's a little bit longer and those should have been in that machine all right what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this up on the screen for a second and come on really fuck i walk walk icarus sideways all right i'm gonna put this up on the screen and we'll just wait until it hits 60. And there we go, 60 items per minute. It does take a little while to get there, but it definitely balances out in the end. So with that out of the way, that's pretty much where we're gonna leave this video. We've covered the build, we've covered how to do the build. Uh, I will actually add the note right about now. Um, if you wanna do this without using coal and just using oil to make energy and graphene, you are gonna need 16 refineries doing oil processing, and then you're gonna need another 12 refineries output graphene and it does mean at the moment i have one hydrogen per second um coming out as a waste product you're going to go up to seven hydrogen no two and a half two and a half hydrogen coming out as a waste uh, two and a half hydrogen coming out as a waste product per second you're going to go up to seven hydrogen as a waste product per second but don't have to use coal anymore so something taken into consideration something to think about depends on how sustainable a build you want to make because oil is an infinite product um but yeah with all that said this is where i'm going to leave this video we're going to come back for the next video where we're going to be covering the information matrix which is a much much bigger monster uh with all that said as always if you like the video click the like button if you're new here by all means click the subscribe button on the way out same time if you want to chat more Dyson Sphere, you want to find out about mods, find out about builds like this, other builds people have come up with, maybe somebody has made a very compact way to build the structural science in an easy, repeatable way, uh, by all means, come jump on our Discord. Link is down the bottom left hand, well, URL is in the bottom left hand corner. There is a link up the top right hand corner. Lastly, you can always swing by my Twitch, that is twitch.tv uh, slash jettyplays, where you can come look at me continuing to build Cybertron, where we're trying to make a mega factory to basically build a Dyson Sphere in a reasonable amount of time, not 100 hours. I would like to do it in like 20 or less. Uh, lastly, you might find on your screen right about now is hopefully a playlist with other tips and tricks and tutorial videos that you may or may not find helpful. Hopefully you're gonna find helpful. But with all that said, that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.